All right, in this video, we're gonna talk about how to bring in some external artwork into Tinkercad that maybe you can't find here in the basic shapes or the other little categories. Maybe you're looking for something cool that you wanna bring into Tinkercad that you just can't find in here. And uh, we can actually do that. One of the things that we can pull in is something called an SVG, SVG. Uh, SVG is a file format, it stands for Scalable Vector Graphic. Now that may sound really scary and mean absolutely nothing to you, but essentially what it is, is a file, an image file, that is scalable and it is created with vectors, which is a vector image. And that sounds scary in and of itself, but it basically means um, different points um, are all connected in order to create the image. It's very different from a picture that you might take on your cell phone. Those are generally um, stored in a format called JPEG. Uh, those are what we call raster images. They're made up of tiny, tiny little pixels that all have different colors and has a number of pixels in them. Um, an SVG is a little bit different. It's made up of points and kind of some mathematics um, that dictates how the design goes from point to point. And it's scalable because we can resize that um, very easily because the math involved just kind of rescales everything for us. So these are really nice in design and uh, you may not be familiar with them, but they're great for uh, bringing in some other artwork into Tinkercad. Now you can find SVGs all over the internet. I don't necessarily uh, recommend you go to every free image site that you find. So if you do free SVGs, you may find a lot of weird stuff on some very weird websites and I'm not really going to walk through you um, uh, through that. So. We're going to use a, a website that I like to use a lot, which is Wikimedia Commons. Wikimedia Commons. Uh, on this site, you get images that are kind of public domain-ish. Uh, people kind of contribute to them, and you can use them. And one of the things that it has is a lot of SVGs. So you can see here, I have in category SVG files, and it has a list of all of these SVGs. Not all of these are gonna be great for pulling into Tinkercad, um, but some of them are. And instead of looking through here, what you could do is just uh, do a search. So for example, right here, I have in the search bar, Apple SVG. So if I did a search for Apple only, I'm gonna get a lot of different types of uh, images. And these images could be all different file types. So you can see here under the file type dropdown, there's all these different types. I'm gonna limit it to SVG, so I'm gonna select that. I could also search for Apple SVG and it would limit those. Uh, so here I have a lot of Apple SVGs and let's say I wanna pull that image in. What I'm gonna do is just select one and the easiest ones to pull in are the most basic. Uh, so if you see one that has a lot of color and uh, like this one and a lot of different things, those are not going to come through very well. We could try one, but I want to try something a little bit more basic for you. So let's just take a look at this like Apple logo here. This is our Apple logo. And let's say I wanted to pull that in. What we need to do is we need to download that file. All right. So you need to find a place to download it. We'll go to more details and then we'll do download and then we will, it doesn't really matter when you're downloading an SVG how big it is uh, because it's scalable. So it doesn't really matter all that much. So you can pick any one of these. I'm just gonna go right there in the middle. There's our image. All right, now this is saying that it's a PNG. So I actually want an actual SVG. Um, so let's say we're gonna go here. This is the page URL. This is a little bit more complicated than normal. Normally we can just download it, uh, but that's all right. Sometimes they change the formatting of this. Open a media viewer. There we go. This is that media viewer is actually a nice place to go. And then if you click that, um, you can go right here to the download button. So no matter which one you get, you can click this download button, and then you can download it into your um, into your computer. Uh, a lot of times you go to your downloads. I'm actually s selecting my desktop. You can see I have some other SVGs that I've downloaded. I'm going to download that right to my computer. And then I'm gonna come back to Tinkercad. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna import that. All right, so right next to export is this import button. And we're gonna import that. And you'll notice that it supports several different types of files. So right here at the bottom, it says Tinkercad supports STLs. Those are the files that we export. So 
the files that, that we export, we can also import those. Uh, we can also import OBJs, object files, and then SVGs. So that's the one that we're going to use. We don't have to select that. It's just telling you that it supports that. And so we'll go ahead and um, we'll choose a file. You'll notice it also says import from URL. So I could have downloaded that or I could just copy this URL here and paste that in and choose import. Oh, it says it wasn't found. So we'll go back to the local file here. Maybe there's something wrong with that URL and you may need to choose something different. So we'll go ahead and import that. And then what we do, we want to just want to check these dimensions here. So it says 1,000 um, by 848. That's pretty big. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to scale this down. I like to scale it down so that it's about 100 by something because uh, that's kind of the size of the work plane. If you make it too big, you can always scale it down. It's not that big of a deal. Uh, but then we'll go ahead and, and click import. And what it's going to do on the bottom left, it's going to tell you that it's thinking about it and then it will bring it in. And so you can see that it brought that shape in. And even though there's two pieces there, that is one entire shape. Okay. And then you can resize that. You can scale it down. You can do whatever you want with it. If you, um, let's say you didn't want that piece of it, you can use your holes and you can kind of resize things in order to get things out of there. All right. So you can do that if you need to. And then when you kind of select things and group them together, you, you'll notice that things disappear. So you can treat them just like any other object that you normally would have. All right, so let's just go through that one more time. So there was our apple. Uh, let's go ahead, let's do, let's do a pineapple this time. Pineapple SVG. And this time we'll get something with a little bit more detail to it. So if I take this pineapple, you notice it has some detail to it. So let's click that, go to more details here. Open the media viewer. So we're gonna download that. Apple or pineapple. So take a look at all the different kind of uh, colors and shadings that we've got going on here. So let's take a look at what that's gonna appear like when we pull that in. Again, that's pretty big. So I'm just gonna go to th about 30%. And this one might actually take a little bit longer to think through. The more complicated the file, the longer it may take for your SVG to import. Um, sometimes I've sat here for a couple minutes waiting for it to import. Here we've got it and it says some elements were removed. And it says the imported SVG contains some elements that Tinkercad does not support. And uh, that's what I mean by some of those files are a little bit more complicated. Yeah, it doesn't look very good at all. All right, so if we look at that, you'll notice if I go back, it captured quite a bit of things, but because of all of this color and detail, um, we're losing something in the SVG. There's probably a lot of different things going on all layered together. That's not typically the type of SVG we wanna pull in. So as you're looking for something, you wanna make sure that you're looking for something fairly basic, fairly basic. So something like this might be a little bit better all right, we could still look, but even with the different coloring and stuff like that, it might cause some problem. So let's go ahead and download that one. That one's called Emoji. All right, let's go ahead and import that. Bring that in. That one's a good size, so we'll just go ahead and click Import. And we'll see what we get here. There we go. So as so you can see, some elements again were removed, but it kind of looks very similar to what we saw over here. All right, so we get the whole head of the pineapple. We get these little cutouts, all right? And there we go. So that looks kind of like a pineapple-ish. A little bit more like a pineapple on the screen than it does here. So that's just the type of thing, <clears throat> excuse me, that you have to be concerned about when you're pulling SVGs in, all right? and. Um, you can play around with that and use them however you want. Once they're in there, you can certainly make them holes too. So if you wanted to create them to be holes for things, like I can make this um, pineapple be a hole for the apple. That's kind of weird. And I could center these two. I don't know why I'm doing this. I'm just doing it because I can. And then, oh, that's kind of centered a lot around the whole thing. So I'm just going to pull that down right there. I have no idea why I'm doing this, but I'm just doing it. And then I'm going to inset this a little bit. And if I group them together, 
I'm going to get a little Apple logo with a little pineapple in the middle. So again, you could just do whatever you want with those SVGs. Treat them just like any other design you've created in Tinkercad. All right, I hope you find that useful, SVGs. But try to do as much of the design work yourself as possible. All right, that's the only thing I ask.